Um, well, talk about Roger Clemens? No, A-Rod. In general. Actually, you know, you, you never, right. first time author, why, why hold that stuff? Well, I figured I had named enough players where one of these players would come on my side and say, you know what, what Jose Canseco is saying is the absolute truth, but I underestimated Major League Baseball. They're a very, very powerful, I always said they're a very powerful mafia. They're an incredible juggernaut. They, they have a force in economy in the United States, a political force that's just, just bar none. Now, Major League Baseball was so powerful that they even got these players to testify against me and perjure themselves. That's incredible. Obviously, we saw the congressional hearings. Sammy Sosa couldn't speak English. Uh, Rafael Palmeiro, I don't know how to tell you. I've never used steroids. I understand why I did that. He had the whole of Major League Baseball behind him, backing him, telling him, go, Rafi, go, Rafi, it's your birthday, we'll back you. <laughs> Meanwhile, Rafi tested positive a month and a half later for steroids. Duh. Now, we all know what happened there, guys. Common sense applied here. What happened? Major League Baseball said, Rafi, you tested positive for steroids way back before the congressional hearings even happened. Now they constructed a deal with Rafi. If you testify against Jose Canseco, we're going to hide these results. You know, we control the whole world. We're, we're, we're the man. You know, we, we can do whatever we want. So he testifies against me. I looked over to Rafi and I'm like, wow, this is a circus. This is crazy. Something's going on here. I'm Meanwhile, me, let me finish. Meanwhile, I found out later on that Rafael Palmeiro did construct an agreement with Major League Baseball, but Congress got smart. Congress said, hmm, I think I'm smarter than you baseball players. So they said, I'm going to subpoena the results from these laboratories. Then I'm going to subpoena uh, whoever in Major League Baseball holds the name. There's a name that's coded with a serial number. Serial number goes to the laboratories, tested. Laboratories don't know who they're testing. They just have a code name, a code number. They tie it back together. All of a sudden, Major League Baseball has, what, the smoking gun in their hands. Um, Congress says, I'm subpoenaing both. All of a sudden, Major League Baseball said, oh, shit, they're going to catch us. I'm going to give these results to the media. One of you guys got it and said, oh, my, look what we found. Rafael Palmeiro tested positive for steroids. It was all a joke. He purged himself in front of Congress. Major League Baseball, again, created a plan against me to try to undermine what I had to say, defuse it, make it look like I was crazy. Bottom line is, guys, they came to me two days ago, and they finally said, Uncle, we need you, they point blank. I've always, since day one, if day one they would have said before blackballing me, listen, Jose, we know you brought steroids into the game. We know you're the godfather of steroids. We know you did it by example and educating the players. I would have gladly said, let's meet. I will help you get these steroids out of baseball. But they chose the route of what? Kicking me in my rear end and getting me out of the game, which was wrong. Are they sincere right now? Could they still be setting you up? I don't think they have a choice. I really think at this point in time they don't have a choice. One more question. One more question. These, these guys are your friends. How come you sold them out like this? Well, I'm not going to answer your question. I've already answered that question. Well, Don, by the way, you're arrogant by sitting in this seat when I got there. And I won't put up with that shit. So get me, out of here. They told me prior you need to, to get out of here. You need to get out of here. You don't need. You need to get out of here. I won't deal with that crap anymore. You need to respect. Anybody left for the third book? You got any names? No, no, no. There, there will be no more third book. They need to respect me. No more questions. Guys, we'll get some people on some book sign. Thanks so much for. No. Thank you. No. I'm the only one telling the truth here. He needs to respect. Sorry. I'm putting the hammer down now. Alex's case, I introduced him, and I'll keep the gentleman's name out. I think in the book, I've indicated. Uh, we put him under the name of Max. I did introduce him to that individual. The individual wanted to meet Alex Rodriguez. I met him in Toronto. I introduced him. I don't know what happened after right. that because usually once I would introduce a player to these known steroid dealers, I was out out of the equation. You know, they they just asked me how can I acquire it and try to educate me. So on. you're not sure what then would develop after that initial no. introduction, or are they just the name passed on? And, but then there's the story attached to that that there's something involved that you were th were thinking that maybe he was interested in your wife, and therefore th this is your way of getting back at him by putting him in the book. Is, does that add up to anything? Well, he definitely was, and I think uh... <laughs> <laughs> was she was she wife number n number one. She was wife number 13, no, no, number two.
Yeah. I'm, into, yeah. I'm dating her now. Yeah. <laughs> For the record, have you ever used steroids, human growth hormone, or any other performance enhancing substance? No. Have you ever been tempted to use any of those things? No. You never felt like, this guy's doing it, maybe I should look into this too. He's getting better numbers, playing better ball. I've never felt overmatched on the baseball field. I've always been in a very strong, dominant position. And I felt that if I did my, my work since I've done, since I was, uh, you know, a rookie back in Seattle, uh, I didn't have a problem competing at, at any level. So, uh, no. Alex Rodriguez has admitted using performance enhancing drugs. In an interview Monday with ESPN, the New York Yankees star third baseman acknowledged the accuracy of Sports Illustrated's report that he tested positive for steroids in 2003. Rodriguez told the network, quote, I did take a banned substance. For that, I'm very sorry and deeply regretful. A-Rod said the reason he did so was because he felt, quote, an enormous amount of pressure, unquote, after signing a $252 million contract, which made him baseball's highest paid player. Sammy Sosa, Barrett Bonds, waving wood and magic wands, taking greenies, H.G.A. and Anderstein, Dion. Mark McGuire, where are you? But not Yankees number two. Pud Rodriguez, Jason Jambi, Rapid Pamero. What a bunch of cheating liars. Since the balls were flying, they've been juiced and lying. Red Boone, launching bombs and losing weight and being gone. See, Lig, what's your excuse? All your plays will play a juice. All this power suddenly. Look, a new home run king. Henry Aaron, Roger Maris, Mickey Mantle, goodbye. What a bunch of cheating liars. Since the balls were flying, they've been juiced and lying. What a bunch of cheating liars. The owners kind of liked it, so they didn't fight it. Victor Conti, Merriman, Landis, and Marianne. Gary Schiffel, Cam and Eddie, Jason Grimley's box. Gatlin Johnson, Montgomery busted, and Lance Armstrong gets lumped in with all those cheating jocks. Could say go, so it seems. Shot up his entire team, then wrote about it in a book. All the drugs his teammates took. Congress, it won't rest. Put in baseball to the test. All runs are less, it's still a mess. And finds it's gonna be the best. What a bunch of cheating liars. Since the balls were flying, they've been juiced and lying. What a bunch of cheating liars. Home run with the bags back, but don't say it's a lie if the hitter's your guy. It's split once and for all. Drugs are plaguing baseball and NFL. You get hot, we know about your dirty side. The Panthers offensive line shot up and thought it'd be fine. No one learned long ago that Mandridge was a no show. Tagly Boo, did you see the problem you were leaving? Please go down, soldier round, make sure that the drugs are gone. What a bunch of cheating liars. Since the balls were flying, they've been juiced and lying. What a bunch of cheating liars. Owners kinda liked it, so they didn't fight it. Pitchers get no free pass, they stick needles in their ass. Roger Clemens, how do you still throw so fast? Even Brady Anderson hit 50 goddamn home runs. Duffy Rose, Jack Free, what is it that you can't see? Drew's ball fences in, Latin invasion. 61, blown away, what else do I have to say? What a bunch of cheating liars. Since the balls were flying, they've been juiced and lying. What a bunch of cheating liars. Owners kind of liked it, so they did it fight it. Yes, it's true, we understand it wasn't cheating back then against the law. That is all, it's sacrilege to baseball. But who cares when you rave with all the dough you stand to make? Someone please take a stand, what is that on Kenny's hand? Oh, he said with a nudge, that was just a harmless smudge. I mean, really, what's it matter? It won't help me get this battle. But that only underscores what's more important than the score. Integrity, it is no more, the fans can't take it anymore. What a bunch of liars. Yeah. Since the ball we're flying, they've been juiced and lying. What a bunch of fucking liars. Owners kinda liked it, so they didn't fight it. What a bunch of fucking